Okay, sorry, I ran out of battery on that one. So I was just saying, um, what we've done is we've we've you know we, we had this combination of degrees of freedom that uh, you can't achieve with the parallel system exactly. So we we designed a parallel thing that could achieve it, mimicking it, um, and we could control the parasitic errors. But now let's design something that's serial that achieves this because it's outside the parallel pyramid, and you can get it exactly with serial system. And we designed this. You can see two parallel modules stacked in series. They're both heavily over-constrained, so it's over-constrained. Um, this thing achieves the rotation and two translations, and then this part achieves the, the translation. So this is not under-constrained. If you hold this fixed with respect to that, this is locked up. There's nothing under-constrained. Um, but uh, the interesting thing is, is that, um, you know, this, even though it's serial, it, you know, and, and for the very first instant, all these motions that you want to achieve are exact. So this exactly achieves a translation, this exactly achieves a translation, this exactly achieves a translation, exactly achieves a rotation. But they're just for the first instant. Um, you know, so, so, so they're not mimicking it, they're getting it exactly. But the way it's designed, because it's not as symmetric as it could be, um, it still has parasitic errors. So this guy will actually arc down, just like the other design will arc. You know, when it does this, it like arcs, right? And it'll arc here, and th this will be with no parasitic error, the translation, but this rotation will actually screw down, and, and that won't even happen here. So even though we designed, so, so it's, it, the whole point of me telling you this is like, look, you might think, you might think, you know, why mimic a degree of freedom if you can, uh, degrees of freedom if you can do them exactly? with serial or hybrid. If it's outside the parallel pyramid and you need to do it, always do it with serial or hybrid so you can get them exactly. Well, that's not always true because depending on how you design them, they may very well still have large parasitic errors. They'll, they'll always exactly get them for the first instant, but they'll have large parasitic errors um, otherwise. Um, you know, and they may actually have worse parasitic errors than um, then this stage, right, that uh, that achieves uh, these things with um, that, that for the first instant it's not getting a pure translation, but over large range of, of deformation it's 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 arcing just like the other ones, and it might even have better or less parasitic error. So so what I'm saying is like, <laughs> you know, it, it's still worth trying to design parallel systems even though they're just mimicking spaces outside. Uh, you know, the freedom space or outside the parallel pyramid um, because mo many of them may still be doing it exactly and even have no parasitic error. And the ones that aren't doing exactly that are mimicking may have even less parasitic error than the serial or hybrid versions. Okay? So with that, um, hopefully you found that interesting. Uh, join me for our, our, our final last lecture of this course.